now that you've taken apart your computer, you probably need to know how to put it back together. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. So first, we're going to grab our motherboard here. Once again, grab it by the edges. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure this cable is out of the way. And lift, try to lift these up while we're slotting this, these ports, into the I.O. Or the ports on the um, chassis. Make sure that's in place. And you'll know it's in place because there'll be a little, uh, a little peg right here that sticks through. You can see that. Um, now on this particular chassis, it looks like there'd be a screw here. Um, but there's not. The screw actually goes here. There's only one screw that holds the motherboard in. Um, and the bare motherboard view. So I'll go ahead and do that. Once you have that screw um, installed, what we're going to do is we're going to reroute this cable. And um, it's kind of um, hard to show you, so I'm just going to do this. Um, you'll be able to see, like, the little cable guides where this where the cable goes. Um, and then once you make it over here, um, you're going to find the connector. And then just make sure it's lined up and then push it down there. Now we're going to do this other side. Um, we're going to start with the one... Actually, before I do this, we're going to connect these after we route the wireless cables. So for that, we're going to put the screen back on next. Okay, so go ahead and grab your screen here. Um, you can see there's a little notch right here, and that has to line up over here. Um, so it's kind of a little fiddly to get in there, um, but you'll know it's in there. Because, now, I wouldn't recommend you leave it like this um, for a while, but it'll be able to support itself. Um, so, you obviously want to make sure that it's seated in there, and you don't want to leave it resting like that while you're putting the screws in. Um, but remember, there's these two screws right here, and then there's two more over here. Okay, so now that you have the screws installed back into the case that hold the screen on, um... We're going to reroute our wireless cables. So let me zoom in here. And move it over here. I'm sorry for this grainy view. Um, so you can see there's these little routes here. To route the cable with. There's a the little one that goes there. These two right here. And then once you get it past these two, you can just stick it in towards the other, towards the other side of the board. Um, now, now, <laughs> we can do this one, right here. So again, let me make sure you can see this. There's, the cable's pretty much right, the connector is pretty much right under here. So what I do is I just make sure I line it up, and then push it back in. Now this one, um, same thing with the, uh, uh, keyboard. Lift this black tab up, and you want to make sure this is in there. And these can be a little tricky, and they are very fragile, so you don't want to be forceful with them. If it's not going, um, try something else. So you slot it in there, and then you push this connector down. Now, the way you can tell that these are installed properly is usually most of them. I'm going to get my camera off here for a minute and show you. Most of them have a line. Oh my god, that is so difficult to see. There is a little itty-bitty line on the blue piece. Um, you'll be able to see it better when you do it. There you go. You can kind of see it. It's right in there. That line should be straight and is really close to this black part right here. Um, now that I have the camera down here, it's going to be a pain to get it back up there. So we'll just do the display connector over here. To do that, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the display cable and just put it back in its place. You want to be careful with this because that is really fragile right there. Make sure it's seated all the way um, and now we'll move on. Okay so before we put the palm rest back on we're just going to do a double check here. We're going to make sure our display connector is in. We're going to make sure our power adapter connector is in along with our USB port on this side. We're also going to make sure that our optical drive connector is installed properly and that we've routed our, our wireless antennas. Now that you check that, we can move on to the palm rest assembly. 
So this is probably one of the trickiest parts. Um, still not as tricky as a uh, HP Envy computer, but pretty tricky. Um, you want to line this up, and while you're lining it up, you want to make sure you don't pinch these connectors. Watch out, the speaker cable is the most um, prone to being pinched, so just make sure that that's free. And then you can go ahead and make sure you line it up properly. And you can go ahead and snap it in some. Sorry about that phone. Okay, so where we left off, we were snapping this in a little bit. Um, you don't want to, you don't need to snap it in all the way right now. Just make sure it's seated in there. Um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to connect our power um, ribbon cable, our trackpad ribbon cable, and our speaker cable. So let me zoom in here. I guess we can start with our um, trackpad. So what you want to do is get it out of the way a little bit with your finger, and we can lift this tab up. And what you can do is, like the other one, this one will probably be a little easier to see. Um, slide it in there. Like I said, it is not going. Don't force it. Um, there you go. And I like to push this in with my finger while I'm using this finger to push it down. You can see that black line pretty much disappeared. Now this one over here, um, the one over here uh, that we did underneath the palm rest, um, you might still see that black line a little bit. That doesn't mean that you messed anything up. Um, it just means that that one's a little different. So the speaker cable, you can just go ahead and slot in there. This one's probably the easiest of the bunch. And the power cable. Just like the trackpad cable, we like to, we're going to lift this up. Slot this in there. Like I said, not if it's not going, don't force it. Okay, once it's in there, you'll, you'll kind of feel that seat in there. Um, what I like to do is put a little pressure on it with this finger, close it with this finger, and there you go. We're going to move on to the keyboard next. Actually, before we do that, we're going to put the four screws back in um, that we removed. So this one right here, here, right here, and right over here. I'll be back when I do that. Okay, so before we continue... I'm um, putting the keyboard back on. We're going to make sure that we have all the things connected. So make sure your speaker wires cable is connected, your trackpad ribbon cable, and your power ribbon cable. And make sure you have all four screws installed in their proper space. Now we can move on to the keyboard. So what you can do with the keyboard is I like to put it flat like this. Um, so when we when it's time, you can just flip it around like that. Um, so what we're going to do... This is probably, this is the trickiest part. Um, so we're going to lift this up. Use two fingers because this one can break in half pretty easily, actually. And you're going to want to take the keyboard ribbon cable, if I can get it here, and slide it in there. Now, this one does have a white tab, so you'll know. You'll also see um, pieces um, that stick out of this ribbon cable go into their spots. Now, you want to make sure that this line is straight, um, completely straight, um, because if it's not, some of your keys aren't going to work, and nobody wants that. <laughs> so now, we can zoom back out here, and flip our keyboard around, keyboard around, and these little notches line it with this case. And we can just snap the keyboard in. Now that you've got your keyboard installed properly, you can close the lid of the laptop. Now, if your laptop lid doesn't want to close properly, um, right in here, this is the palm rest. You can see this piece is sticking out a bit, and this is the case. Just make sure that's in there. Snap all the way. Um, like that, that, this one over here was snapped all the way. You can see this was dropped, so this piece doesn't want to snap back in there properly. Um, a, when, once you put this screw in there, that'll go back together nicely. But because this is dropped right here in this corner, or bent somehow, that's not going to want to go back in there. Um, so now that we're underneath the laptop again, we can go ahead and install all 16 screws that we removed. I can show you those. Um, here, 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 
right here, two here, 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 here. There's one that goes right here and right there. And there's one that goes right in there. I'll be back when I do that. Okay, so now we have all 16 screws, I think, re-screwed back in. We can put our hard drive back in. And to do this, you like the, you're going to slide it in here like this. And you can see this part is going to stick up. So you want to push it, push it in a little bit, and then make sure it sits flush. And then wrap this cable through this hole. And then the connector is just under there. So just like the optical drive um, connector, you can just make sure it's on there and then push it in. You won't hear like any clip or anything. Um, now we can, can continue to the RAM and the wireless card. Um, we're going to start with the wireless card. So go ahead and find that. And you want to put it in at like a 45 degree angle here. Or something like that. And um, if it's not going... Once again, don't force it. So, you'll know it's in right if it does this little spring motion here. Make sure that's in all the way. And then push it down. And then on this side, where my finger's pointing right here, that's where you'll put your screw. I'll come back when I have that screwed in. Something to remember with the wireless card is, this screw is the only screw that's different in the whole entire other part of the computer. Um, so now that we have screwed that wireless card in, um, it's, we can put the antennas back in. Um, now these antennas are numbered. This black one is number one. You can kind of see that. And this gray one is number two. And on the wireless card itself here, if we can focus, that'd be great. Um, if I move this a little bit, you can see there's a one there. And there's a two right there. So those just slide in. Or, um, you want to position them on top of the wireless card. And then push it in. These can be a little bit tricky, um, and like I said, if it's not going, don't force it. I'll be back when I have that ready. Now that you have your wireless card um, back installed, we can we can reinstall our RAM. Now, I had added um, a stick of memory to this computer, and this blue blue colored one. This is replaced with HP Spare. Um, that goes on the bottom. Now, if you lose track, it really doesn't matter at all. Really. Um, I just like to keep things how they were. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to focus the camera first. And then once again, with the wireless card, put it at a 40 degree angle when you put it in there. And then push it in there. And then you'll know it's in right if it does this sort of spring motion. And then make sure it's in there and then go ahead and push it down. Same thing with this other one. Now your computer might not have two sticks of memory. That's all right. Um, I'll just do this top one. This top one's a little harder to see. Um, so you just want to put it in there and push it down. That's installed properly. Now that you have your RAM and your wireless card installed, we can go ahead and install our optical drive. To do that, um, this is the top. So we want to get it on the bottom, um, and we're gonna do what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide it in. Just go ahead and slide this in there. You might need to wiggle it some. That should go in there, and our last um, loose screw goes right here. You'll know it's right because it has a little circle thing next to it. Kind of looks like a CD. Um, go ahead and get that off your magnet. Um, put it in. And go ahead and screw that. Now that you have your optical drive installed, you can go ahead and install this cover. Now before we do that though, you want to make sure that you don't have any other screws lying around. Um, this is the last screw that we're going to screw in, and this one doesn't come out. So you won't be able to put it back in, or take it out. Um, so make sure you don't have any screws left over. If you do, um, I'm not sure what to tell you. Go rewatch this video. Um, anyways, so you want to lay this down, um, so there's a little gap here, and then you can just slide this in. And then with that, the screw should spring up a little bit. Let me zoom in here, sorry. And you can go ahead and screw this screw in. Now that you have this, um, panel installed properly, 
get our get your battery. And what you want to do with this is these can be a little tricky. I have had a little bit of trouble putting some of these batteries in. You see these notches here? You want to line that up here, and then it should just click into place. You'll hear that little um, noise. And once you have that done, you probably want to dust this off. This is a little dirty. Um, but you have taken apart and put back together your HP Pavilion G7 laptop, and it should be working properly. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope it helped you.